I mean, yeah, this so explains bad. all of it, eh? <laughs> it's, it's like, like it's new horizons, mm. it's new territory, and it's very exciting. It's got, uh, it's got, it's got only sunshine on the other side. Um, gonna, not gonna be smooth sailing, yes, guys, but an exciting journey nonetheless. <laughs> My medium's experience thus far has been quite a whirlwind of emotions. It's mostly been good. I've been having a wonderful time in the States, bonding with my fellow UCT people and meeting the Americans. So my Milan experience has been life-changing. It has been invigorating. It has been re reincarnating. It has been phenomenal. It has been out of this world and it has just been something that has transformed and changed my life immensely. And coming to the US has opened me to so many things, things that I wasn't aware of. It has shown me that as a black child my dreams are valid and that like there are so many endless possibilities. I'm learning so much, I'm growing so much, I've been empowering myself, I've been challenging myself to do things that I never thought I would do. And I'm really grateful. Um, on my Melon experience thus far, I will admit it's been it's been quite challenging. I never expected to find such a different system to UCT at Williams to have so much attention in terms of my research topic and in terms of what I'm what I'm studying, what I'm looking at and having people interested in me and my research process and like what I want to do with my life as an academic. So far my experience at Williams College it's just it's been overwhelming, it's been challenging, but it's been it's been extraordinary. It's been something that even it's been more than what I anticipated and I've learned so much about myself and about my research and about where I see myself within the next four to five years. My melon experience. Um, it's been really good. I was a bit nervous to begin with when we went through the whole admission process but I've learned a lot so far um, in terms of research, in terms of what it means to be an academic and whether or not this path is for me. It's been an amazing way to network with different people, meet uh, people here in America who are on the same track that you're on. So my main experience this far, it's been an enjoyable process, also quite challenging at times. Um, the enjoyable part of it is uh, being on this journey to find out whether I'd like to be an academic or not, not just by myself but with such a diverse group of people. So back in Cape Town, like the UCT students and even the Williams students that we've met, just kind of yeah, looking into this whole academic culture, learning about it in the Cape Town context and in the States and seeing is this for me or is this not for me. I really liked kind of the nurturing aspect of it, especially here in the States and actually back home at SA. I think it started kind of with Gideon and our time at Montfleur when we were really kind of nurtured and taught more about the research process and becoming an academic and here in the States it's just kind of built on that idea. So I really like that. I think before I came into the program, I had an idea of what an academic was. Maybe it was kind of a stereotypical idea, but I really know more about what it means and how to get on that path and kind of flourish on that path. The first week, I think, was quite overwhelming. It was just so much stuff going on. It was hard to absorb everything that was going on. The second week, I think I found my feet a bit better and I think I'm finally ready to get really like settled into my work and stuff. Yeah, I'm learning a lot about myself and what I want to do with my life and about research and academia and yeah, I'm having a great time. At this point, right now, I would just like to thank the Almighty on High for, the, for this opportunity and for what may lie ahead. But I must say, I, I feel so blessed and I feel so grateful to have been chosen for this opportunity and to experience these kind of things. I mean, who would have known this rural Zulu girl? Here I am at Harvard University. Um, in America, I mean, if my grandmother would see me now, bless her soul, she would be so proud of me. Yeah, overall it's been great, and also just coming to the States and seeing the culture here, I guess, 
the, the social culture but definitely the academic culture and how different it is to Cape Town. It's challenged me but I'm enjoying it. Melon slash Davis experience I think has been really great. A lot of the questions that have come up are very relevant. Um, not particular to my field but in terms of what's going on in the context of our world and in which someone becomes a professional and they have to deal with other professionals. I think it's been very useful for that. And also, in terms of the work actually, I think right now I'm doing some of the most important things that I'll ever do um, in terms of doing a literature review and learning about the scholars who are prevalent in the field and understanding the basic concepts. I think that that's something I'll be able to take with me anywhere. So now I think that this is the right place to be at least because I have a lot of uh, help with my mentor, of course, and with other mentors, uh, with friends. Um, and I'm seeing not just how to follow an academic route, but also how to tailor this to my life's goals, um, which are far beyond an academic realm. So I think this is great. Um, I think that the way the fellowship has like worked for me is really beneficial. I think that I'm getting the resources and tools that I need to possibly follow these avenues in life towards um, getting a PhD, which is really nice. So my experience has been pretty much all around very great, and I only expect it to get better. Um, I've been having a good time with my fellowship so far with Allison Davis. I would say that I've, I've had a pretty favorable experience so far, at least I've enjoyed it. Um, this is probably the most I've learned all year. Um, well, actually I'm lying, but... <laughs> that this has been a, a great period of time for personal growth, um, just from the things that I'm learning and um, from the things that I've been exposed to and the people that I've been exposed to. So it's really been uh, a great experience for me so far. So, in terms of intellectual engagement, I suppose it's been a pretty um, stimulating experience. It's really challenging my imagination. I mean, I've really liked my Mullen experience so far. I feel like I've had the opportunity to learn a lot and I guess the opportunity and the resources that Williams has provided in terms of just allowing me to pursue what it is that I want to study. I, know I feel very grateful for the experience and also the opportunity to meet all of the UCT fellows was really cool for me. I mean, I feel like that added a whole different aspect to us. I'm like really grateful more than anything and I'm having a great time. My Mellon experience has been really incredible. I'm really grateful that I'm that I'm a Mellon Mays fellow and that I've got, that I'm in this fellowship and then especially the summer research program. I really, I really like it. Um, I like all the people I've met and so including students and then professors and mentors and advisors. Everyone's been super great. I really like our discussions that we have, like whether it's like in the kitchen or at meals or just walking through campus. I'm so grateful. It makes me so happy. And when I think about like all the experiences I've had so far, they all, they all make me smile. And I, I truly feel blessed. Like it, it actually warms my heart. If my heart is overwhelmed and I cannot hear your voice Hold on to what is true Though I cannot see If the storms of life they come And the road ahead gets steep I will lift these hands in faith I will believe